Welcome to Goodnight Robin, your someone to say goodnight to. I'm your host, Robin Rice. Tonight I'm making a special request that you help others find this podcast. I can create it and I can share it, but it goes so much further if you share it. And one of the ways to let it be seen more is for you to subscribe to one of the podcast sites, wherever it is that you might listen to it. And even if that's not how you listen to it, even if you listen to it on YouTube, you can find it and subscribe on YouTube or wherever. We'll have links in the show notes as usual. You can subscribe, but then you can rate it and you can review it. I'm so honored when someone rates and reviews it because this is what signals to the powers that be around podcasts that this is a podcast that matters. So if you feel like it matters, please find it online, subscribe, and from there, I'm sure it's going to continue to grow in all the places that it should. And I thank you so much. Hi there. Good evening. I hope you had a good day. I had a really good day. I want to share one of my very favorite quotes today. It's from um, Rainer Maria Rilke. And I've often kept it close to me in difficult times. And so I thought I would offer this and then maybe make a little commentary. So Ricky writes, be patient towards all that is unsolved in your heart and try to love the questions themselves, like locked rooms and like books that are now written in a very foreign tongue. Do not now seek the answers which cannot be given to you because you would not be able to live them. And the point is to live everything. Live the questions now. Perhaps you will then gradually, without noticing it, live along some distant day into the answer. The reason I love this so much is because most of our lives we have questions. One of my other favorite quotes is, you know, a man is known better by his questions than his answers, and so is a woman. And also, you know, there are people, two kinds of people, uh, those who want answers to their questions and those who want better questions. And I think all of these fit together. When we're living in challenging times, when we're living in loneliness, maybe, when maybe our health isn't perfect, the world's health isn't perfect, we look at it and just say, we don't have any answers. Well, what if we lived the questions better? What if we didn't have to have answers to everything, but, but we could become better at living these questions? And when I say living the questions, for me, that just means pondering them and learning to be happy even if it's not answered. And, you know, just seeing the beauty that's around me. You know, I mean, I'm weird. Like I can get really excited about, I don't know, the the shape of the microphone, the shape of the table or desk, the colors on the paintings that are not even just about the paintings themselves. Like they're nice paintings, but just the colors alone are like a freaking miracle to me. I just think they're amazing. You know, an absolute miracle that colors exist in my mind. You know, sometimes I just sit in the window, in front of the window, and have this beautiful multifaceted crystal that catches the light and just shines rainbows all over the wall. And I just sit there dumbfounded at the beauty of the world. And when I'm there, I don't need answers. I don't need a single answer. I just need, I don't know, a big sigh, I guess. So like Rilke, I have to say, be patient towards all that is unsolved in your heart or anywhere else, it's always going to be a little unsolved. You have to see the sparkly rainbows on the wall anyway, or you never will. I hope you enjoyed that. I am deep down a poet at art, so poetry is very special to me, and I just wanted to share that with you tonight. I hope you have a beautiful night's sleep, regardless of questions being uh, unanswered, and sleep tight. Good night, my friend.